So I've been asked to compare and contrast the value of the new premium battle pass versus the old one. Keep in mind that in a previous video, I deducted that for $39.98, you are getting two battle passes for the whole season with a value of $431.50. This total will be used later to compare with the old pass, so let's get into it. In the old premium pass, we get 25 level skips, 1300 apex coins, 1200 crafting materials, 10 exotic shards, 14 packs, two legendary character skins, one legendary weapon skin, and two reactive weapon skins. So let's do some homework. Level skips are 100 150 apex coins each, meaning 3,750 apex coins plus 1,300 from the battle pass, making 5,050 total. 1,200 crafting materials is equal to one legendary item, which is equal to 1,800 coins, making our sum 6,850. 10 exotic shards are worth $10, which translates into 1,000 coins, giving us 7,850 coins. Apex packs are worth 100 each, and we get 14 of them, which is equal to 1,400 coins, which adds up to 9,250 coins. Two legendary character skins that go for 1,800 each gives us 3,000. 600 to our total, making it 12,850. Another legendary is another 1,800, giving us 14,650 coins in total. And finally, we have two reactive skins that are 50 exotic shards each. You can either get 100 shards for two transactions of $40, making it $80 for 100, or you can get 110 shards with one transaction of $80, so either way, it's $80. With 80 bucks, you can purchase the 6,700 coin bundle and 2,150 coin bundle, giving us 8,850 coins and making our grand total 23,500 coins. Now to translate that into US dollars with coin bundle discounts, that'll give us approximately $205 worth of value for 2,800 coins, which is just under 30 bucks or around $26.50. So to compare and contrast the old and new pass values, the old pass gives you $205 of value for $26.50, but the new pass gives you $431.50 for $39.98. Now get ready, because I'm going to do some more math. Let's convert these prices into proportions in order to get the exact value because this looks pretty ugly. For the new pass, we'll divide $431.50 of value by $39.98 to get approximately $10.79 of value for every dollar of your money. For the old pass, we'll divide $205 by $26.50 to get approximately $7.74 of value for every dollar you spend. Putting this side by side with the new pass, you can get an extra $3.05 more value per dollar than you would with the old pass. To put it simply, New pass equals more bang for your buck. I understand that the issue with the new pass is it forces players to spend money rather than coins they have saved up, and believe me, I hate it too. I'm not defending this new system at all, I am simply stating facts and showing value because I was asked to. So, do with that information what you will.